Today's topic is going to be subtracting fractions with unlike denominators where you may have to do some borrowing. First thing you have to do when you have mixed numbers is look just at the fraction part. Looking at the 5 and the 4, we're going to say, what do they both go into? Remember, I take the larger of the two, and I'm going to say 5 times 1, 1, excuse me, is 5. But 4 does not go into 5, so I keep going. 5 times 2 is 10, but 4 does not go into 10, which means I keep going again. 5 times 3 is 15. 4 doesn't go into 15, so now I'm going to try 5 times 4 is 20. Oh, and that's the least common denominator. So at this point, I know to get my 4 times 5 to equal the 20, and my 5 times 4 will equal the 20. And remembering, whatever you do to the bottom or the numer denominator, you have to do to the top or the numerator. So 3 times 5 is 15, and then 4 times 5, so 1 times 4 gives you 4. Now notice, I cannot subtract 15 from 4, so I'm going to have to do some borrowing. I'm going to borrow from the 3, makes that a 2, and I'm going to borrow the 1. So now what I have is the 2 and 1 and 4 twentieths. The 1 and 4 twentieths is what I want to work with. I need to make that into an improper fraction. Remember, that's where the top is bigger than the bottom. So I'm going to take my 20 times 1 is 20, plus the 4 gives me 24 twentieths. Oh, now I can subtract the 15 twentieths, which, of course, then I'm going to be able to subtract my whole numbers, and I'm going to be able to subtract the numerators. 24 minus 15 is 9 twentieths. 2 minus 1 is 1 twentieth. Checking, 9 and 20 are what we call relatively prime. In other words, there is no factor. So this is my answer. <laughs>